Hey guys, Slicem here with Slicem Gaming, and it is time to take a look at uh, what Deadpool has to offer, the spring cleaning event. Uh, I've already purchased some of what I was going to purchase. Um, I will tell you, as it sets right now, I went ahead and scooped up three Odins. Uh, I, I already kind of pre-planned what it was I was wanting to purchase. So for me, I'll explain why, what we're pick picking up, and then we're going to open these and, and hopefully get something worth having. Uh, and can and can turn this into a pretty good little opening. So, uh, based on what I saw, we're gonna have at least two six stars. Uh, we're gonna have a couple other things along the way. And the biggest thing for me is I got a ton of units that I can use to now go into Act Six or look towards working towards finishing up Abyss. Uh, a lot of options here. So let's go take a look at what the store has, uh, what we're gonna be buying, and, and why. So. For me, the very first thing when I looked through this and I looked over this, uh, Bundle 9 for me is a complete waste. Uh, I think I got three generic 5-star Awakening Gems right now. Uh, the T5B is not anything that concerns me. Uh, Bundle 8, I kind of like. I like the idea of a Nexus Crystal. Uh, you know, hopefully you get lucky. There's, there's an option or two there that you want to pick up. Uh, and there's a good chunk of 6-star Shards, which is what I'm really after out of this. <clears throat> for me, this is all about acquiring as many six-star shards as I can in the most intelligent way possible. Uh, you know, the other T or, uh, bundle seven, you got the T5CC. This is another thing that I really, really wanted to scoop up. Uh, T5CC at this point is something that I'm, I'm looking to start collecting, looking to push uh, as it's starting to get to that point where we're talking about rank threes uh, and six stars being the way to actually pump up um, the the prestige of my, my character. At this point, I've got the best prestige champs uh, you can have as far as five stars go. So now it comes back down to uh, six stars. You know, can I get a six star that's worth having? Putting stones into them and, and ranking them up. Speaking of stones, that leads us to bundle six. Bundle six, again, we got 2,000 six star shards, which is great. But the other thing about this is six star six stones. Uh, so at this point, again, it's all about picking up six stones, trying to get as many of those as possible, and getting that, that squared away. So that is something that we're definitely looking at, uh, and is definitely a must-have for me as well. Uh, bundle 5, I, again, I'm not concerned about my 5 stars as much. This is T2 fragments, or T2A fragments along with 5 stars, 6 stones. Um, that is, it's a pass. It's not something I'm concerned about. It's not going to help my prestige. I don't have any champions that I'm worried about signing up at this point. So, again, <clears throat> I'm going to pass on that. Bundle 4, again, <laughs> this goes back to 6-star stone or 6-star fragments. Uh, we got 6-star hero shards. We're going to be scooping this up, uh, looking to score as many 6-star shards as possible. Bundle 3 is kind of a rank-up deal. Uh, if you're looking to rank champions up, this is a great deal. Uh, T2A is one of the hardest things to come by, in my opinion. You just don't see a lot of them floating around. So being able to pick those up in, in solid quantity is nice. Plus, you've also got the T4CC selector. So you're not stuck trading off three of an overflow, hoping to get one that you need. You can go in and surgically pick out the exact T4CC you're looking for. So not a bad deal. Uh, bundle 2, again, this is all about the 6-star shards. Uh, we're we're going to be picking up 6-star shards out of this bundle. T4CC, uh, our T4 basic, again, not a concern, but uh, it's just a little bit of a benefit. And believe it or not, bundle one. Now, this is a, a good solid buy. This is another thing. You can scoop this up, and you're going to get yourself three five-star crystals out of this if you go all out on it, plus a good chunk of T5B. I think it's about 1.5 if I remember right. So, um, again, I've bought three Odins. So now the question is, what are we going to buy? Well... For me, it starts at Bundle 7. Uh, the T5CC is something I definitely want, so I'm going to pick up two of those. So that's done. Bundle 6, again, is the second one. I'm all about the 6, uh, the six stars, 6 stones, and the 6 star hero shards. So we're going to go ahead and max that out, and that's going to be uh, enough to open one 6 star automatically in this video. So moving on, T4, or Bundle 4. Again, more six star shards and bundle two. All 
All right. So we got a little bit left, all right? At this point, it comes down to what makes the most sense. Uh, and do I want to spend more on something else? I've got 60000 to go. Um, <clears throat> I can almost max out bundle one. Um, you know, that is probably realistically the best bet. Bundle three is handy, uh, again, for ranking up. Um, it's just going to depend on what really you want to do. Bundle nine is a waste. I see no reason to go there. You know, I could hold on the 60000 and make a push, you know, go buy another little bit more and, and go after bundle eight. But again, five stars aren't anything that I'm overly concerned about. The six star shards would be nice. You know, you're talking about another good chunk of six star shards. Um, but I'm going to play a little conservative here and we're going to go ahead and, and bundle up what I can out of this. It's going to be just shy of the max. So we're going to pick up eight. That'll give us another 8,000 five star shards. And then we've got the option of going back later and, and scooping up the rest if I really, really wanted to. But uh, the big thing here is, of course, picking up the six-star shard. So now let's go have a little fun. Can we get anything useful? I don't know, but this is what we bought it for. So let's go crack some six-stars. So we are going to have two six-stars and a five-star to open. Um, I tell you what, let's open the five-star first. And see what we get five stars in the spinner I'm getting text messages I apologize all right come on uh, five star wise you know any dupe is good Omega Red Corvus Nick Fury uh, are the big three and we get a storm I was thinking to myself I do have her right I should okay that's what I thought obviously not ranked up any all right so some mutant ISO we got some gold got some six-star shards we'll, we'll take it okay Now, two six stars. Let's get them loaded up. And see what we get. First one in the spinner. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, so we're hoping we're waiting. And, uh, again, uh, you know, Corvus is, is the champ I'm really looking for. I haven't pulled Corvus ever. I would love to find a Corvus in one of these six-star crystals. Um, Corvus, uh, I would love to dupe my Aegon, dupe my Namor. Uh, I would be okay duping my Human Torch. Phoenix one that I just recently pulled and first pull is Night Thresher champion I don't have as a five star um, so that's interesting I don't have him as a five star so that's a whole new champion for me to take a look at and see um, interesting all right second one on the spinner let's see what happens all right <coughs> excuse me uh, come on, <laughs> let's let's just get one really really good pull. Uh, Omega Red, a Corvus uh, thing. Uh, who else is out there that I really like? I would take even my Phoenix dupe, uh, Namor dupe. Havoc would be okay. Um, you know, duping my Ghost would be huge. I'd love to awaken Ghost here. Uh, that would be a big deal if I could get that lucky. I don't see that happening, but I can hope. You know, that would be that would be phenomenal if I could pull off something crazy like that. And Sim Supreme. So this is a champion that I just recently got as a five star. Um, and I haven't had a chance to rank him up. So getting him as a six star is super nice. Um, I'm okay with that. Again, two new champs. One that I don't have at all uh, with Night Thresher. 
Uh, and then, of course, Sim Supreme that I just recently pulled as a five-star. Uh, so now I've got him as a six-star. Now I can rank him up. Uh, he's going to be great to have on the team. Uh, kind of excited to pull that champion there. So both of these pools are solid. I'll take him. The Night Thresher, I'm not, I'm not real familiar on. Uh, so let's go take a look at the six-star roster now. You know, didn't get exactly what I was looking for, but still added two good solid pieces here. Um, you know, there's you know the uh, the wasp. We got Hood, uh, Human Torch, Namor, Aegon. There's Ghost, uh, Mephisto, Hela, Angela, which is great synergy team there. Uh, you know, Morningstar, Darkhawk, Sentinel, all solid little champs with a couple really great champions mixed in. Uh, with the two new ones there, uh, Night Thrasher and Sim Supreme. So, very happy with those pools. Um, like I said, not not real sure on Night Thrasher. I know he's had some pretty good videos out there with some crazy stuff, but uh, I don't know where he fits in with my team just yet. But definitely Sim Supreme, very excited about. Uh, and it will be a, a champion glad to have. So, all right, guys, there you go. So, all in all, not a bad opening. Can't, can't complain. We got some great rank up material. We've got a lot of stuff that we can use uh, for champions. Um, some six stars or some six star six stones. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. We've also got to pull our T5CC. And then we're out of here. So let's see if we can get lucky. We got two of these. Uh, none of them really are going to put me over the top, but that puts me a lot closer to another tech. And another good little chunk towards mutant. So, not bad, not bad. All right, guys. So, there you go. Got a chance to see it. We got some pretty solid pools. Can't complain. Walked away feeling pretty good about it. A lot of, uh, a lot of solid rank of material along the way. So, yeah. And uh, the Sim Supreme pool, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's not going to hurt my feelings. So, I finally got a Mystic that I'd be excited to rank up if I pulled the Mystic... Uh, mystic uh rank up material along the way or even awakening gym later on so all right guys well listen thanks for watching i appreciate it don't forget follow me on twitter it's at slicem uh make sure you hit the subscribe the follow the like the share tell some people about the channel all the help you can get the more the better outside of that i'm getting out of here you take care have fun and remember keep on gaming and uh, check out some more of the channel thank you adios